David De Gea's time at Manchester United is over. He has just posted a farewell message to supporters confirming that he will not be extending his 12-year stay at the club. His contract expired on June 30th. Talks continued over a new deal, but those talks have ended. And De Gea, after 545 games for United, leaves the club. And this is what he's had to say on Twitter. I just wanted to send this farewell message to all Manchester United supporters. I would like to express my unwavering gratitude and appreciation for the love from the last 12 years. We've achieved a lot since my dear Sir Alex Ferguson brought me to this club. I took incredible pride every time I pulled on this shirt to lead the team, to represent this institution, the biggest club in the world, was an honour only bestowed upon a few lucky footballers. It's been an unforgettable and successful period since I came here. I didn't think from leaving Madrid as a young boy we would achieve what we did together. Now it's the right time to undertake a new challenge to push myself again in new surroundings. Manchester will always be in my heart. Manchester has shaped me and will never leave me. We've seen it all, he says with a heart emoji as well and some pictures as well alongside the post including him lifting the Premier League trophy and when he first signed uh, alongside Sir Alex Ferguson well it was a very successful time at Manchester United wasn't it De Gea won the club's player of the season award four times in total he also won the Premier League uh, the FA Cup the EFL Cup twice and the Europa League in 2017. Well, for more on this uh, huge story, let's bring in our reporter, Mark McAdam. Uh, Mark, this has been rumbling on for a while now. Many people wondering why it was allowed to rumble on for so long, but uh, it would appear that a resolution between De Gea and the club for him to continue couldn't be found. Yes, you're right to say this has been going on for some time. We all knew that David De Gea was out of contract at Manchester United this summer. And there are two sides to every story, of course. Mm. And there were some claims from De Gea's camp that he had signed this contract extension that was in his current deal and therefore had automatically extended his stay at Old Trafford for a further season. However, there are claims on the other side that that wasn't signed as a full contract. So it's a little bit um, of a mess in terms of he said, she said as a scenario. But ultimately, what you've seen now is that Manchester United didn't offer the right deal for David De Gea. And he now feels the time is right to leave Old Trafford after 12 years at the football club. So that's basically the situation. It was all down to wages, essentially, uh, and the money that was on offer in that existing year's extension. And Manchester United weren't comfortable with paying David De Gea that extra chunk of money to keep him at Old Trafford for a year. There were some fans that were a little bit disappointed despite the amazing performances he's put in over the years and the number of times he's won player of the season that he didn't have his best season in the season that had just gone. Uh, and therefore, some fans were saying it's right for us to be looking at a new goalkeeper. Um, and others were saying he should be staying. So it was one of those situations that had rumbled on. We know that he was out of contract on the 1st of July this summer. He got married last week and the club had said that they wanted to allow him time to focus on family time and to have his wedding without talking about contracts in his future. But clearly, David De Gea has now decided time is right to move on. And, um, you know, after... a a long time at the club, 12 years, that's some statement in modern football to be at a club for that long. It shows you how much he was enjoying his time there, how much he was a part of the transitions from Sir Alex Ferguson, who took him to Manchester United, to on, you know, all the other managers that have been in place, you know, Louis van Gaal and Jose Mourinho. He has been someone that has been picked as the number one by virtually every single manager and even Eric Ten Hag last season. So his impact will be huge at Manchester United and he'll be remembered as one of the all-time great goalkeepers that that football club has had. Well, Mark, this is interesting because Manchester United have just released a statement as well. We've heard from David De Gea on his Twitter page. This is what Manchester United have had to say. It starts with this. David De Gea has announced his departure from Manchester United, bringing an end to a 12-year stay during which he secured an array of trophies and personal accolades to cement his place as one of the greatest goalkeepers in the history of the club. They say since joining from Atletico in 2011, he made 545 appearances with 190 clean sheets, both 
club records for a goalkeeper. It goes on to list his uh, accolades, uh, what he's won there. But there's also words from Eric Ten Hag, the manager. He says it takes great quality and character to reach the level of even playing one game for Manchester United. To do it 545 times over 12 years is a special achievement, particularly in the goalkeeping position where every game puts you in the spotlight. To have won Player of the Year awards from both the fans and his teammates, each on four occasions, shows the level of his performance and he will always be remembered as one of the very best goalkeepers in the history of the club. Well, I'm personally grateful, he goes on to say, for the 25 clean sheets he helped provide last season and his overall contribution on the pitch during my first year at the club. All the players and staff send him our very best wishes for the next phase of his outstanding career.